Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope today. First thing in the morning, we're out on the back deck after a couple of days of warm, warm weather, which you know I love. If you watch my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube, you know I love the warm weather. We're out this morning. It's kind of raining a little bit. It is a bit cooler. And so I thought I'd take some time to come out here and I really wanted to do channeling. Like I woke up this morning and I wanted to talk with Robin Williams. This sounds a bit, um, this might seem a bit uh, casual, but like even more than normal, but I really want you guys to understand how I, what it's like my psychic life as a medium, as a connector, as a bridge to the afterlife <clears throat> with celebrities and spirit guides, angels, saints, deities, totem animals, all of that, how it works. And, and, I, and when I'm inspired to channel and connect, I want to do that. It doesn't have to be all super formal and official. So Robin Williams is somebody that, yes, we have channeled before. Yes, we've spoken to Robin before. Of course we have. He's wonderful. Who wouldn't want to talk with Robin Williams in the afterlife? So there is a playlist if you want some of the nitty gritty, the specifics from him and his perspective, looking back on his life or on life in general, check out the playlist. Today, I'm going to talk with him and in like day-to-day -day psychic life, let you watch be a part of this so you can understand and be encouraged to connect with your favorite celebrity your favorite deity or god goddess aspect or totem animal or spirit guide or angel etc no matter how famous fabulously famous they are this is how it works this is the real psychic connection okay this isn't the makeup perfect lighting fabulous colored clothing and gorgeous jewelry production. This is legit, real connection, like real people, soul to soul connect with the afterlife and spirit. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you with Robin. Hey, nice to see you. <laughs> I got the Mrs. Doubtfire vibes this morning. Actually, I was watching one of my favorite bloggers. I'm going to fill him in on this. <clears throat> he knows, but I'm going to share it so you guys have the benefit of knowing. I was watching one of my favorite vloggers yesterday for Disney. My favorite, I got my Disney shirt on. I got my Disney, my Disney uh, uh, shorts on. It's just, oh, I'm so Disney-fied right now. Just, I love it. It makes me feel so good. And Robin, I totally think about you and the genie from Aladdin, which is like my very favorite image and spirit guide <laughs> image of you <laughs> as a genie. <laughs> Grant to my three wishes, right? As Aladdin's best friend, I'd love to consider you one of my BFFs or my best or my BSFs, my best soul friends. So I really do appreciate you. But I was watching one of my favorite vloggers and um, it's paging Mr. Morrow, Morrow, M-A-R, I think it's M-O-R-R-O-W, I'm not sure, paging Mr. Morrow and he was at Disney World and I love him. He's got, he's just has such, his name is Nate and he has such a nice energy. And so, but he made a mention to you, Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire. And I love that movie. It was so great. Like the putting your face in the cake and like, hello, <laughs> with the cream. Oh my gosh. I love that. It just made me smile so much. I appreciate that. So it made me, and did kind of plant the seed a little bit to uh, connect with you. And I've been wanting to, I've been thinking about having another Robin Williams therapy session. So why you as my, my like therapist in the afterlife, why you? And he says, because of my multiple personalities. <laughs> yes, it's like, you can be a life coach, you can be a um, body, um, um, a homeopathy kind of naturopathic type, uh, uh, intuitive, like a genie and this like future visioning energy. I mean, you just, you feel like you have it all, to be honest, you just have it all. And so that must be why I just love you as my, my therapist. <laughs> and you don't charge me an arm and a leg and you don't, I don't need to worry about insurance coverage, you know? So I like it. So all right, so today's topic, I want to talk about 
oh, there's a lot of things we could talk about that would interest the audience too, but I want to talk about, let me just kind of feel in you guys, because I have a lot of stuff I've been working on in journaling. And you guys know if you watch me on Fairy Grasshopper, my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel, that's where I share like my blogging stuff and my real psychic life stuff and topics and all that intuitive stuff. So let's kind of feel in and see what, what feels right. I, a couple of things are coming up here. Um, I'm not sure if I want to talk about family, like family of origin and how that influences us. That's a good topic. Um, or if I want to talk about the body. Yeah, let's talk about embodiment. Because, um, oh, 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 no, 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 no. This is perfect. This is a perfect one, a bridge between the two. And I literally just heard this from the atmosphere, not from within me. I just literally saw a bridge kind of light up. And then I heard this word self-care. Let's talk about self-care. Not the kind of self-care like pedicures and massages, that kind of vibe, but self-care and how are we, um... okay, so let, let's start this way. I think that we as people want to take care of ourselves. I think we do. I don't think we are, you know, bopping down the road of life and are, you know, all of a sudden turn 32 or 45 or 56 or 63, etc. And we all of a sudden think, Oh, um, and, and, and we think, and we, and we, we're just bopping down the road, right? And then all of a sudden we go, wait a minute, what? Like, I'm supposed to be taking care of myself? Like, I forgot to do that? Or we have this kind of like revelation, like we've been doing, this is, we've had this revelation that we've been doing so much for other people and our energy has been such outputted that we're like, oh, my self-care has only consisted of maybe a nice dinner with a friend every once in a while, a, um, a walk along the beach, uh, uh, a girl's getaway weekend, or uh, a pedicure. Like, that's not enough, people. Guys and gals out there in YouTube land, that is not enough. We are, no wonder why we feel like we're not enough, because we're not filling our gas tanks enough, right? Whether you're a hybrid and you run on electricity and gas, or you're just running gas, or you just run on electric, it doesn't matter what powers you, it doesn't matter how you fit in your body. Let me just say that very clearly. This is not a conversation about how you fit in the, your body. This is a conversation about realizing how much care we actually need. Like I'm realizing I need way more care than I'm giving myself. And even though I think I have really good practices, like Robin, you know, I do my meditation. Sometimes, sometimes I don't. If you need help with meditation, you should look on Fairy Grasshopper at the tapping videos I have. And you should look at Sunday Morning Coffee, Sit With Me, the episode called Sit With Me. That's a meditation. There's other meditations on Sunday Morning Coffee too, which is here on Above Life Channel playlist. But you know, I, I have routines like um, things. I have a huge backpack, metaphysical backpack filled with tools of divination tools like card decks and I have crystals and I have my oems which if you don't know what an oem is oh you missing out we're going to talk about that on fairy grasshopper I'm going to talk about that coming up in my uh, private group that I'm going to be starting here soonish anyway I digress like that's what gets me happy and excited and feeling good right inspired is creating stuff but I can't create stuff if my tank is low and there ain't no fuel in this body to help care for myself so much that I'm overflowing with the abundance of ideas and creative energy and that it has to swirl around us you guys before it can go out of us and the thing is is we didn't learn that you and I learned that our value is based on the relationships we have with other people the approval of our parents or our teacher or a professor or a collegiate institution or a boss or a company that promotes you or even customers and clients, if you're an entrepreneur, that love you and buy your products over and over again. And if they stop buying your products for some reason, or if you maybe, I'm not saying I can relate to this, but I'm saying I can relate to this. Maybe you have a couple months that are real slow on the income level train because people just aren't, it's not a hit on you. They're doing other things. 
they're caring for themselves in other ways. But you, we, you and I see our value in that, what other people are giving, doing, giving back to us, which means all of us are giving to other people and not giving to ourselves. I think having session is giving to yourself. Let me just say that. And that's part of how I am caring for myself. That's part of my package. That's part of my bundle in my backpack is I have sessions for myself with my feelings coach. I have a coach that just helps me on my feelings and works with me with my relationships and my heart space with my kids specifically as a mother, my role as a mom. I also have a coach that helps work with the energies around me as things are popping up in my ancestral lines and um, the things that are coming up for me from a spiritual context to work with and work on and to integrate. And so she helps me with that. And then I also have a business coach that helps me with the spirit of my business or the essence of the energy around my business or work and how what the structure is of that and how it can flow into the world. And so I have these tools. I have tools, yoga and exercise. And I have these tools. I have, I have tools. And yet I find self-care is not something that I actually remember is essential, that it's required. And I, and, and I struggle with what, it, what does that even mean really? What does it really mean? Like, is it every, an everyday thing? Is it multiple times a day? Is it like, what is this, Robin? Like we don't, we human people don't have a clue about this. I mean, I would think you might know because you were pulled in a lot of directions as a human. You had a lot of projects. You had a lot of variety of things you were working on. You had a lot of different relationship stuff too. You had kids and, um, you know, significant others and spouse and all that and ex-spouse and all that and and friends and, and, and everything. How, how, what can you share about self-care that, that we can understand? And, I, and I, I almost even hate to use the word self-care because it's like love. It's kind of this ambiguous thing that we all feel and know that we need, but we're not really sure how to get it. But it's not an it, it's not a thing, it's a flow, it's an energy, it's a zone, it's a, it's like a zone, it's like a state of being. Or is it? I, I don't know. Tell me about this. Tell me, educate me about this. Because I need some assistance, some professorly like scholarly instruction. <sighs> He's like, breathe. Okay, so we're going to take a breath. Everybody take a breath. Do the woo-woo stuff, okay? Give me a break. You're here watching on Above Life Channel, me channeling Robin Williams. You're into the woo-woo. So how about you, you? Hmm. Dum-dum, you give me gum-gum. Ah, -gum. Oh, Robin Williams show. Which one was that? Dum-dum, you give me gum-gum. Type the movie in below if you know which one it was. <laughs> ben Stiller was in it. Just give you a hint. Okay. Breathing. Oh, seriously, you guys, take a breath. I'm going to relax back here a little bit. I'm going to move up a little so I can kind of lean back and you can still see me and enjoy the scenery. Oh, okay, so what's the point of the breath thing? He's going like this to me, like, come closer. He's like, you're alive. You're alive. Don't you think... Do you suppose there's a miracle in that? He says, don't, don't you suppose there's a miracle in the fact that you're alive? You are alive, he says. Robin Williams says to you, you're alive. So the breathing proves that we're alive. We're gonna, are we going to get all philosophical? The meaning of life. He literally says, the meaning of life. He literally looks like a yogi, like he's got his legs crossed. And now I'm seeing the movie The Birdcage. And him like with a, um, a flowery kind of Hawaiian shirt on. And he's like, breathe with me. He says, you have to have spice in your life. You have to have a sense of humor. He said, um, this energy is... This is the vibration of life. He's like, this is, this is it. This is it. Just the pure, can you guys hear that? You probably can't hear it yet. 
It's raining. It just started raining. As if on cue, <laughs> like we're in a Hollywood soundstage. Breathing and I smell the air. Yes, he says, yes, feel your senses. You guys do this with me. Feel your senses, feel, feel your body. He says, feel your body. Listen. And he laughs and he says, I know it can be annoying to hear the sound of your breathing. At first it seems distracting, he says, but really it's the best way to attract. He's like, it's the best attraction that there is in the sideshow <laughs> of life. <sighs> I'm feeling like my heart is really tense. I don't know if you guys are, are you feeling that empath energy? I just, I, feel, I personally feel it. And since this is my session and y'all are watching me, um, we're going to enjoy it. It is not easy for me to breathe right now with awareness. Like I literally feel like I'm breathing up into my head and getting almost lightheaded. So I'm going to try to breathe into the body. Yes, he says, yes. Robin says to imagine a glow of light in your belly, like right below your heart space here, right in your body at the center of your body. And he says it looks kind of like a, a teardrop, almost like a oval that has the two points, two edges of the oval pointed up and down. So it's pointing up to the heart and down to the low belly. And it's just above the kind of the solar plexus or right where the spirit chakra, the intuitive chakra, the soul would be in the body if you do chakras and that kind of thing like yoga chakras and meditation chakras like that. But it's gold, like a yellow. It's light yellow, by the way, pale kind of yellow, what I see. Yours can be whatever color you want. If you want it mustard, you make it mustard, you make it brass, I don't care, it's yellow. So. He says, this is the beginning. Focus on breathing that. Breathe, he says, breathe this, this imagery. Let it kind of expand and contract a little bit. Let it kind of grow and come back to its shape. Grow and come back. Let it just kind of open, open and touch, open and touch. It literally looks like it's opening and touching. So let's breathe into that, you guys. Close your eyes for a bit. Visualize that yellow pod of light in the belly. Pale yellow, just beautiful soft yellow. And imagine, shh, visualize that breathing. Usually I can breathe really well, but right now I'm just having a hard time with the getting into my belly even with my breath. So let's not try, let's just be. He says, do not try. He says, he's like such a yogi, he's so cool, <laughs> so cool. We must have humor in this experience. This is what self-care is all about. Doesn't yourself rather want to enjoy life? Oh yes, you can breathe and have fun with it <laughs> and enjoy it. Find the bliss, he's like, find the bliss. He's like, Bridget, find the bliss, find the bliss. Isn't that like a chocolate brand, bliss? It should be if it's not. Explicit. Okay, okay, focus. Allow the breathing, just allow the light to come into the body and out of the body. He's like, do not try to put the breath into the nose and go down the anatomy. He's like, just get it the quickest way possible. Let your belly go up and down and open and touch and open and touch. And he's like, the touching point is the important part, the point at the top and the point at the bottom of this. I'm breathing in and exhaling out. I have not done this on a video with anybody. I cannot, my brain is like, what the heck, Bridge? Okay. Robin's like, ever the student, this will give a prime example for all. We are always learning. <laughs> Bridget is demonstrating resistance, everyone. I'm like, thank you, Robin. Thanks for pointing that out. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> Oh, I like the giggles. Oh, that feels good in my belly when I laugh. Breathing in to that space. Oh, exhaling out. If you yawn, it's natural. It's just release, you guys. It's just relaxing. So lean back. Oh, that is cool. Thank you. Wow, you guys. Okay, so I see 
the third eye energy, a little bit of a light blue energy, kind of like an Archangel Michael vibe, a sky vibe, sky, the clouds in the sky vibe. So I'm just going to breathe that in. So we've got the pale yellow light energy like the sunshine <laughs> in our bellies. And now we've got the sky energy, the light blue. And we've got the sound of the rain behind us, all around us, encompassing and enfolding us, creating beautiful connection space. Breathing in and exhaling out. Soften, you guys. Soften your body. Ah, oh, thank you. He says, tender care with tender care. Allow this. Allow yourself to breathe and be breathed. Do not withhold any of this. Any of this power and energy, sweetness, tenderness, just... Do not withhold any of it from yourself. This is the first and most important part of caring for you. Caring for self. Oh, he says, caring for your spirit is self-care. <laughs> and that was worth the price of admission. <laughs> let's breathe in. When I say let's breathe in, it's because we're intending. There's an intention to receive, so an awareness to receive. And I'm exhaling out just to acknowledge that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So much gratitude in this heart right now. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, now my heart feels yellow, light yellow. and Tender is probably the best word that I would describe. And I'm just waiting for Robin to do like Reiki on me or something. <laughs> Reiki is like one of those really popular like energy modality things. <laughs> anyway, doing his moves. <laughs> Beautiful. And he goes back like this. He literally goes like this, which is one of those yoga moves, those mudras to receive energy, you know, receiving. The thumb and the middle finger. <laughs> has multi-purposes. It is the multi-purpose tool. <laughs> he says, <laughs> only Robin Williams would have me do this. Um. <laughs> yum. He says, yum. Like yummy. <laughs> oh, my eyes are tearing. Oh, that's so perfect. That's how I know we have connection. Oh, you guys, if you ever are doing meditation, Breathing in and exhaling out or doing breath exercises or just sitting like this for a moment together, just. And you start to tear, your eyes tear up. It's connection. Oh, it's connection. You are connected. That's what it means. It's an affirmation. Your body is feeling the goodness, the good stuff. We need the good stuff. We need the good stuff. We need the good stuff. Receive, receive, receive the good stuff. Yes. Be willing to receive. Are you willing? These are Robin Williams giving his intuitive connected self-care advisement guidance. Just enjoy this. Let's enjoy the tenderness of this moment. The bliss. We're in the bliss, my friends. I feel the bliss. Might be rainy around us. Rain, actually, water element is healing and clearing energy. I hope you can hear it a little bit. <sighs> Yawning is just really releasing, letting the body fully relax. Embodiment is a part of self care that I personally know is a key. It's a key to connection. That's what we need for self-care, connection to us, to our spirit, for our soul care. You're caring for your spirit. 
Spirit care, everyone. Spirit care. It sounds like a toothpaste. Spirit care. Now in four flavors. <laughs> he's, he's so funny, right? Aww. Breathing in, allowing that energy to come into the body. Let's just enjoy it for a moment here. I'll try to be quiet. Not so great on YouTube to be quiet, but... Give yourself permission to just receive, just be in the presence of you. You are so beautiful. Inside your heart, in your spirit, there's just this tenderness. There's oceans of kindness within you. Waves of tenderness, gentle, gentleness, sincerity, Oh, there's this incredible serenity. This just, just so peaceful. It doesn't even fit. It's just serene serenity. The softness about you at your soul. We're all mushy. We're all squishy in the middle. That's what Robin just said. Because I use the word um, squishy belly in my Sunday morning coffee. I'm like, oh, the squishy belly. Nobody likes to feel the squishy belly. And then I'm like, well, wait a minute. Everybody needs the squishy belly in spirit. We need to be softer for ourselves, not so hard on ourselves. So I'm like, we need that tangible reminder, you know? And he literally says, everybody's soft in the middle. Like everybody's squishy in the middle. It's like, we're all filled with caramel. <laughs> He said, like, that's Bridget's favorite. So that's why, that's why the caramel reference. There we go. That is my favorite. Yes, it is. All right. <laughs> this has been so sweet. This has been so beautiful, Robin. Robin, you have channeled for us and helped us to connect in a way with self-care and understanding what this means without lecturing us or talking to us, but providing an experience on Above Life channel for me to share with others too and for me to enjoy. Like, y'all... I enjoy this. This is like, this is awesome for me. And I hope you enjoy it too. And, and if you don't, it's okay. It's fine. There's other videos to watch, but oh my goodness, this is worth it. <laughs> this is what connection is about. The experience of it. Because my eyes are like all teary. It's a good thing I didn't have makeup on yet. It's a good thing it was early in the morning. So I could just wipe my eyes. You are such a sweetheart. Thank you so much, Robin Williams. Thank you for sharing with us an experience of what self-care is. And he called it spirit care or caring for your spirit. Yeah, as though you were caring for the spirit of God, the spirit of earth, the spirit of the stars in the universe, because that's what's inside you. That's what's inside me. That's what's inside all of us. All right. All right. So thank you for being here at Above Life Channel. I appreciate you. I hope that we've inspired your spirit care today, filled you up with hope, that tenderness energy. It's just, I love it. It feels really good. I hope you can feel it too. And now the wind is picking up. So the air element is coming in to support as well. 
as the rain. It's just gorgeous. It's just such a beautiful collaboration, isn't it? I love it. You cannot ignore this, the surroundings, the energy, the support that shows up, the bird that lands on the tree right outside your window. You cannot ignore the support because it's all around you. Stop blocking yourself from receiving it. Okay, it just takes some practices, some experiences, some exposures like this with our friend Robin Williams, for example, in the afterlife. This was beautiful. This is exactly what I needed today. And I feel blessed and grateful and, and, and really grateful to be able to share it with you. I'm glad that I recorded this because I couldn't, I wouldn't, I, this might have just happened and you guys might not have seen it. So I'm going to try to make sure that I do that. So for those of you who are interested in the actual application and the experience of how it really happens, so that you know it can be an affirmation or confirmation for you, for your personal connections with your spirit guides and some celebrities that you may have been talking to and think you're crazy about. Like, and I know because you send me emails. I get your messages. I know. I know. All right. Thanks for being here.